Hi, welcome to Skills and Drills with Prairie Badminton. I'm your coach, Ryan Giesbrecht. Okay, we're gonna talk about hitting a clear today or really any overhead shot that you wanna hit from the back of the court. So one of the very first things we wanna do is we wanna make sure we're set up sideways. So my racket shoulder and my racket arm have to be set up behind me like this so I can load up my power. Now I'm using my forehand grip um, so I can hit a forehand shot. So my thumb is just resting on the side and my fingers back here are ready to squeeze and give me lots of power. So <clears throat> from here, I'm setting up, I'm bringing my shoulders back to 90 degrees here. I'm pulling my right shoulder blade back. And what that's doing is that's engaging my chest. So I'm stretching my chest, which is gonna give me more power when I move forward to hit that shot. And I wanna stay as relaxed as possible when I'm hitting uh, the shot so that I can add uh, the power all the way to when I'm squeezing my fingers. So I'm set up sideways. My arms are at 90 degrees here. I'm pulling them back and I'm locating uh, the bird. So I need to be uh, behind the bird, underneath the bird when I'm hitting the shot. So now that I'm here, I'm gonna be rotating my hips and doing my scissor kick. What that does is it pulls my shoulder forward, pulls my hip back, which pulls my shoulder forward and it brings my elbow forward. And now that my elbow's over here, I can reach up nice and high and squeeze my fingers to send that bird in the direction I want it to go. And just let your arm follow through naturally across your body uh, or down in front of you uh, so that you don't resist any of that force that you're producing, okay? So make sure you squeeze and let it go forward, hit all the way through the bird. So a little bit faster now, I'm gonna get on my racket leg. I'm gonna lean back and pull my shoulders back here like this. I'm gonna rotate my hips and then my shoulders, squeeze my fingers, and send that bird where I need it to go. So you can see there's a nice flow from the beginning all the way to the end. There's no stopping or jerking motions. It's got a nice relaxed rhythm from beginning all the way to the end. Rotate the hips, let the arm come through and squeeze the fingers to finish off that shot and give it lots of power. Now, um, the difference between hitting a clear or hitting a smash is really just your point of contact. If I'm hitting a clear, I'm hitting it more right above me and I'm hitting it high into the air. If I'm hitting a smash, I need to get behind the bird a little bit more so I can hit that bird in front of me and get that angle pointing downward. Now that you know what to do, remember to practice your skills as much as possible. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.